Tennessee and Washington are not in must-win situations, but they probably should win. And do you spell the player of the year Jimmer, Nolan, Jared, or Kemba? I'm Reed Turner. This is Bubble Tracker. I'm joined by our expert, Tim Gardner, USA Today basketball writer. Tim, let's start with the games before we get to player of, of the year, which we normally don't do. But Tennessee, South Carolina. You know, it, it, Tennessee, second-ranked strength of schedule. The problem is they haven't been playing well as of late. They're 7-7 seven and seven in the SEC, and, and they can't afford to lose to a team like South Carolina. I mean, this is what will get, you know, you, you don't want to have the attention of the selection committee on you. You lose a game like this, and, and that's what happens. The problem is, after that, you, let's say you lose to South Carolina. You get Kentucky to close the season. Granted, Kentucky's 1-6 and six on the road, but... Would you want to play Kentucky with, you know, uh, in a must-win situation to get to the tournament? Best for the Volunteers to take care of the Gamecocks, rely on that strength of schedule and some early season top 50 victories, which will count in their favor as the body of work to get to get into the field of 68. And UW? UW, Washington, uh, a tough home loss. They don't lose at home very often, but they got stomped pretty much by Washington State a couple nights ago. What they need to do is either get back on track here against UCLA and then they have Southern California after it. Both home games. I think the Huskies are okay. They'll, they'll win one of those and probably one in the Pac-10 tournament, but you don't want to let one turn into four. Nobody lets me vote for player of the year. Of course not. I'd pen in Psycho B, <laughs> Ben Hansborough from Notre Dame, but obviously he will not win. I mean, well-deserving of a great uh, season. Precisely, but, yeah. but, uh for that to lose? I, I think it's his to lose right now. And, and now with the suspension, it, it's going to put even more emphasis for him to step up and, and do more than he already has, if that's possible. I mean, you look at a guy like Nolan Smith coming on strong as of late. You, you can't discount the contributions from the freshman Jared Sullinger for Ohio State, Jawan Johnson at Purdue. You mentioned Kemba Walker. These are guys that have all done great things this season, but they just don't quite stand out as much as the Jimmer, you know? Right. He's Tim Gardner. That's a lot of basketball for the players, not a lot of basketball for teams who are trying to get in the tournament. This has been Bubble Tracker, and we will get back to you soon.